What's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to my kingdom. My name is Sink the King and I'm coming at you today with another YouTube video. Today, we're gonna be reacting to Chloe and Halle's sophomore album titled Ungodly Album. I have been a fan of these girls when I say from the beginning. I mean, when they were just being discovered on YouTube and then Beyonce picking them up and between Symphony EP and then the two of us, EP or mixtape, whatever you want to call it, and then the debut album, The Kids All Right. I have been there every step of the way. I have been cheering these girls. I'm so excited to be reacting to these girls and giving them a listen. I only heard one song from this album. The only song that I've heard was Do It. Love Do It. Do It's Pop. Do It's Poppin'. Do It is It. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I love these girls so much. I'm so glad they ended up dropping it. They ended up pushing it back just a, uh, a week. But here we are. We finally got it. It's a new sound mixed in with the old sound that they had. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Without further ado, let's get into Chloe and Halle's sophomore album. Ungodly Hour. The first song on this album is titled Intro. Let's get into it. Don't ask for permission, ask for forgiveness. Okay. The first track was just the intro and they were saying, don't ever ask for permission, ask for forgiveness, period. The second song on this album is titled Forgive Me. Let's get into it. Yeah. You must got me fucked up, period. Oh, forgive me, but no, not really. You can forgive me, but no, not really. It doesn't matter. You don't need to forgive me. I ain't done that to you. I'm moving on to better things. Yes. Yes. Let's keep listening. Please. Please. Come on. I saw the messages. You ain't gonna tell me I saw them. What are you talking about? Ah, you never tried. That was the second song on this album titled Forgive Me. I love this. I love this track. They was like, okay, we're gonna incorporate Fresh Sugar Symphony, the two of us, the kids are all right, all three of those, but then we're gonna bring in this new mature sound that we have as an adult, as grown women love this i love this message as well forgive me but not really you know i don't, I don't need no forgiveness it's I, like like i'm saying forgive me but nah, sorry not sorry i don't really need your forgiveness the third song on this album is titled baby girl let's get into it hmm. oh i was talking to jesus then i was talking to demons I love these two together. Hey, do it for the girls all around the world. Hey, tease with me. Hey. All right, that was the third song on this album titled Baby Girl. I love these two. The harmonies, I, I can't picture them not being sisters and not being a duo together. Like, oh my gosh, I'm sure, they, they. I know they both would sound great individually as solo artists, but God knew what he was doing when he put these two together as sisters, gave both of those women powerful voices and gave them the bond that they have so they can be able to do this. Because let's talk about it. You have to have a great connection, a great sisterhood in order to, you know, be with each other, be around each other all the time. And... Like, yo, that's a blessing. The fourth song on this album is titled Do It. I've already listened to this before, but you know how I do. I like to listen to it with you. So let's give it a listen to it together. Hey, let's go back to the sheet of bounce. Everybody do the sheet of bounce for me. That was the fourth song on his album titled Do It. You know, you know it's popping. You know it's popping. 
you know what's popping. When everybody heard that, everybody was like, Chloe had it. Everybody's eyes on them. It's like, okay, these girls are growing up. These girls are doing a little twerk in the video. These girls are doing everything. These girls are popping. I still feel like that. I still feel like that. I'm going to forever feel like that with this song. This song is exactly what it is about. I'm sorry. And they did it. They The song title is Do It. They did it when they made this song. Up-tempo song. The up-tempo song that we need. But still with the run. Still with the vocals. Still with the Chloe and Halle that we all grew to love. It's still incorporated into this album. You can still, you still feel it. It's just updated more. It's just more modern. It's just more of them. Like the fifth song on this album is titled Tipsy. Let's get into it. Oh. Oh! Hold on. She said, I'll hit you where it hurts. Yeah, if you don't put me first. And I don't give apologies. If you lose life, that's not on me. Wow. If you lose a life, that's not on me. You don't give a fuck. Y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all talking so much shit. Okay. Okay, all right. She said what she said. They said what they said. Let's keep listening. If you love your little life, then don't fuck up. <laughs> wow. I'll take you to the afterlife. Boy, if you ain't acting right. You heard what she said. I might be a little tipsy. That was the fifth song on this album titled Tipsy. And this song is like the production, the, the runs, the riffs. How are y'all able to control your voices so well to be so young it's a gift it's a talent and i envy you but i love you and i'm glad that you have those talents yeah. i love this track i love this track tipsy yo then they was talking they was talking so much shit in here too they were talking so much shit on the song they really talking some they you got the message don't fuck with me i'm not to be fucked with i stand chloe and hallie i stand we're gonna go to the sixth song on this album, which is also the name of the album, Ungodly Hour. Let's get into it. Yo, they speaking some more shit. When you decide you like yourself, holler at me. When you when you just okay, let, let me just decide that when you decide you like yourself, holler at me. When you can tolerate you. Come and holler at me. Wow. When you decide you need someone, call up on me. Yo. Let's keep listening. I love that. Oh. You've heard it before, Hallie. Won't you love me? That was a sick song on this album titled Ungodly Hour. Yo. Oh. When you finally decide to like yourself, holla at me. When you need somebody, call up on me. But until then, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Initially, listen to the song and then been like, like, just let somebody know. It's so real. And if it would be so much easier, I feel like, when people get into relationships and they're like, hey, I can sense some shit's not right with you. Get that shit together before you fuck me up internally. Like, I know that I like you and like, you know, I, that could possibly be something, but you really need to work on you. When you like yourself and when you feel like you need somebody and we want to get all that together, call me. I love that message. I love that message. Oh my God, Ungodly Hour, popping. The seventh song on this album is titled Busy Boy. Let's get into it. First of all, you got me fucked up. If I get a text message saying, are you up? You not finna text my friend. And like, 
15 minutes later, like, oh, like, are you up too? Like, you got me fucked. Like, what? Who doing that shit? Y'all, wow. Oh. Hey. Oh. Uh, oh, I love this. Not you got a baby. Wait the fuck a minute. Okay. Hold up. That's why I just play with you. I spend a little time. Don't stay with you. You ain't ever gonna get deep inside even though you're so damn fine. You a busy boy and they smart. They're smart. See, they 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 learn you feel like you got it. They let you feel like you got that. But you really don't. You're not getting inside. You're not finna get no punani. You're not finna get none of this shit. You think you playing me, but I'm really stringing you along. Yo, Chloe and Heavy. I didn't know you had it in you. I love it. Ooh. Oh, come on. Hey, hey. That was the seventh song on this album titled Busy Boy. And it's, I think it's my favorite. I think Busy Boy is my favorite at the moment. Busy boy, oh, you're a busy boy. You're a busy boy, but you're not getting inside. You're not getting none of that. You can be as busy as you like, but you're not finna get off up in here. You're not finna bring that on over to here. You know what I'm saying? Are you busy? You doing all of this. You fine, you fine, but you busy. And see, that's where it, that's where it gets a little confusing. It gets confusing to some people because they feel like just because you find that you can get away with a lot of stuff. No, you can't get a lot. Of, you can't get away. Not on me. You can't. You can't. I know you find. I can see. I got to. I got to. I. But I also have a brain. I'm not dumb. And I know you are just. You know. You. You slanging it here, slanging it there. No, thank you, busy boy. The A song on this album is titled Catch Up, featuring Sway Lee and Mike Will made it. Let's get into it. Okay. Oh. You better turn off. Alright, that was the A song on this album titled Catch Up featuring Sway Lee and Mike Will made it. The song was dope. I love the Oh, you better catch up. I kind of got into Sway Lee like that. I don't really listen to Sway Lee. Loved him on his track. I love his little singing voice or whatever like that. It's not bad. I gotta get into you, Sway Lee, because I, I, I like somebody, I like a guy who can carry a little tune, you know? You gonna lose me. You better catch up. You finna, lo you finna lose me. Bring your motherfucking ass and catch the fuck up. All right? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. We're gonna go to the ninth song on this album titled Overwhelmed. Let's get into it. That was a nice song on this album titled Overwhelmed, and I understand exactly what they mean. I felt this to my core. This song was super, super short, super short, but I felt it. I didn't need it to be that long for me to connect to it, honestly and truly. I didn't need it to be that long. It was the lyrics. I don't do well under pressure. I don't know at all. I wish I had all the answers. Fix it all myself. I feel overwhelmed. I think everybody can, you know, gravitate to that and understand that even just a little bit. Getting overwhelmed where, you know, whether you're at work or, you know, you're, you know, in a relationship and you're getting overwhelmed or... Just feeling the pressure of life in general. Everybody gets so well. I definitely understood that. The 10th song on this album is titled Lonely. Let's get into it. Mm. It don't have to be lonely being alone. Oh, who are you when no one's watching?
2010 song on his album titled Lonely, and I absolutely love this track. I really, I, I resonate with this song. It, it's speaking to me because I live alone now. I'm, I'm by myself. I, it's weird. It's, you know, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. And, you know, I've been learning that just because I'm by myself does not mean that I have to be alone or have to feel alone. Like, it's kind of comforting. You don't have to be lonely to be alone. Thank you, Chloe and Hannah. We're going to go to the 11th song on this album titled Don't Make It Hard On Me. Let's get into it. Oh! Vocals, vocals, vocals. If you keep acting so sweet, I might just wake up and leave. This boy that I pinky swore, we be together for sure. Period, you keep acting up, I'm gonna leave. You thinking it's sweet, I'm gone. You got too many holes. Yes. That was the 11th song on this album titled Harder On Me and I loved this track. These women are talented. These ladies are talented. When I say talented, I mean talented. Like, stop looking at me like that. You know, you made it hard on me. We just friends now. We're just friends. Like, you had your chance. Move on. Come on. Don't make it hard on me. We're gonna go to the 12th song on this album titled Wonder What She Thinks Of Me. Let's get into it. Mm. Who are you to, who? We are talking about it. Okay. They talking about being the side lady. I wonder what she thinks of me when you come home. I know that she smells my perfume under your cologne. Wow. I would not have thought that Chloe or Hadley, either one of them would felt some, uh, felt like this or be so willing to express this. Let's keep listening. Yo, you drop everything just for me. Yo. That was the 11th song on this album titled Wonder What She Thinks of Me. And I can honestly say I did not expect for this song to be planted in this album, anywhere on this album. But I'm so glad that it was. I'm so glad that it was. First of all, can we talk about the vocals? Amazing. Perfect harmonies. Perfect riffs. Runs are popping. The message behind this song, I did not think that it would be another girl. She would be the, I didn't think that either one of these would be singing the role of a side chick. Yeah, I didn't expect that song to be like this. I didn't expect it, but oh, I, I'm, I'm glad that it's here. It was beautiful. It's, it's the most beautiful sounding track. Like just like smooth wise and like I love I love it. I love it. If you didn't pay attention to the lyrics, you probably wouldn't under you probably wouldn't know. Like if you were just listening to it without really listening to it, you probably wouldn't really notice that they're talking about being the side chick. It's so beautifully put together. It's so beautifully sung. But like she said, you're in love and you cannot judge her. So no judgments here. Here we're gonna get to the last song on this album title R O Y L. Let's get into it. Hey. 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 That was the last song on this album title R O Y L rest of your life i had to listen to the song before i can realize what it stood for but rest of your life i love this song i love the yeah yeah come on my way like come on they, like they gave you more bopping songs more songs that you can beat to and you can sing and harmonize while doing it i love that we need more they're gonna bring this word together they're gonna bring real soul r&b into the limelight 
Like, they're going to incorporate it in their own way. This album is amazing from beginning to end. I just wanted every song, I just wanted to keep restarting, keep restarting, and learn it, and just learn the song. Like, I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to first keep listening to it from beginning to end. Then I'm going to go to shuffling in it. I'm going to listen to, look at the words and the lyrics. This song is going to be learned. <laughs> this album is going to be learned within the next week or so. Not even joking. I Phenomenal from beginning to end. It's a masterpiece. This is the album that should get you guys way more recognition you got enough recognition as it is i know that you want to see a lot of success and everything every artist does but yo i'm just saying it don't matter if you don't ever get the respect that you guys deserve you ladies are amazing you ladies deserve all of the shine all of the spotlight you deserve all the recognition because like no one's doing it like you Nobody, not not one person is doing it like you guys are doing it at this moment. I'm so proud. I'm so happy. I'm so proud to say that I was there from the beginning of it all. Before it even really started. Before you even started really getting out there like that. I was there. I'm here. Yo, if you have not listened to it, go and stream and purchase Ungodly Hour. Get this. Rise into the top of the Billboard charts. Do it for your girls. Do it for the black community. Go ahead and support these black young queens and get them up to the charts. Thank you guys so much for coming into my kingdom. I appreciate every last one of you. Listen, hey, before you go, I just want to say, yo, it's been a lot of people who click on my videos, that watch different videos. More than eight, more than 90% of my videos are watched from people who are not subscribed. So I just want to say, hey, for everyone who is not subscribed, thank you for at least watching my videos. But you've seen so many videos, you've seen at least one or two. Go ahead and subscribe. Keep seeing my face. Keep up. Comment on the below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you think about this album. Let me know what you would like me to react to next. I'm here. My name is Tink the King. Follow me on all social media as account on the Tink the King. And hit me up. DM me. Message me. Interact with me. And I will interact with you guys. I appreciate all of you. I do not have a top five. I do not have a favorite for the list. This album is amazing. If you do not believe me, go and listen to it for yourself. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I just want to say thank you guys once again, and I will see you guys in the next video.